inside of the concentration camps, there were many different guards who exhibited horrific violence and brutality. The Third Reich established many different camps where the evils of the Holocaust were played out, and after the war, only a very small percentage of former staff were ever brought to justice. War crimes trials were held to bring the perpetrators of crimes against humanity to justice. However, there were many former SS guards who escaped any form of punishment. Still today, a number of people in their late 90s are brought in front of courts in Germany, accused of committing terrible crimes during World War II. But there was one female guard who would be sentenced to death for her involvement inside of Ravensbrück, an all-female concentration camp. However, Carmen Mori would never be executed for her crimes, as she escaped the hangman's noose. Join us today as we look at the disgusting crimes of Carmen Mori, and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Carmen Mori, a Swiss national, was impressed and attracted to the National Socialists and the Nazi Party. She had been working before the war broke out as a journalist for what today is a Guardian newspaper, and it's considered that she had a very good upbringing. However, from the time when Hitler came into power to around 1937, she began to work as a journalist inside of Berlin, whilst the Nazi ideologies were being pressed onto the population. Inside the German capital, she would produce articles for the newspaper, but in 1934, she was approached by the Gestapo, the secret police, to work as an undercover agent, and she accepted this proposition. She would work under Bruno Sattler, and was tasked with spying and keeping an eye on a publisher in Zurich, and she was assigned other work for the Gestapo in Paris, spying on a politician. She would collect as much information as she could, and then pass it on to the Gestapo, and she even collected information on the Maginot Line, the series of fortifications established by the French to repel any invasion. However, in France, Carmen Mori was ultimately arrested, and after being tried, she was sentenced to death on the 28th of April 1940, but she was pardoned by the French, as it was believed she accepted a deal to become a double agent for them. But soon after this, Germany invaded and occupied France, and because of her capture, Mori was considered to have been not useful by the Gestapo. The secret police even suspected that she had been turned as a double agent, and because of this they arrested her, and she was released before being arrested again in 1941. Following this, she was then sent as a prisoner, initially to Ravensbrück concentration camp. However, she then became a capo there. Ravensbrück was an all-female concentration camp established by the Nazis, and around 130,000 women would pass through the barbed wire fences there, and it's estimated that between 30,000 and 90,000 were killed at the camp. The conditions there were very harsh, and women were forced to conduct heavy and hard labour, and it was said of the camp that, they did not shoot the women, we were to die of misery, hunger and exhaustion. When we arrived at Ravensbrück, it was the worst. The first thing I saw was a cart with all the dead piled on it, their arms and legs hanging out, and their mouths and eyes wide open. They reduced us to nothing, we didn't even feel like we had the value of cattle. You worked and you died. It was where there were many different medical experiments also took place, but how did Carmen Mori, a prisoner, commit crimes there? She was appointed to become a carpo, which was a prisoner based inside of the concentration camps, but they were given duties by the SS to oversee forced labour and to carry out different jobs and admin tasks at the camp. Using them cut down costs for the Germans, and they sought to use some prisoners to oversee others, and the carpos were involved with the running of the camp. These were the ones who would ensure that all the rules were followed in an individual barrack, and different carpos were given different roles, such as a room leader, who would be involved in making sure hygiene was good inside the barrack, or the registrar, who was involved in keeping records at roll call. After the Second World War had come to an end, there were many different accounts of carpos being brought to war crimes trials, for their cruelty and brutality, in being complicit in the killing process at the camps. Most knew what was going on, and many carpos would use violence, and some had blood on their hands, being responsible for killing prisoners and enforcing the conditions. Himmler would state of their role that, the moment he becomes a carpo, he no longer sleeps with them. He is held accountable for the performance of the work, that they are clean, that the beds are well built, so he must drive his men. 
The moment we become dissatisfied with him, he is no longer a carpo. He is back to sleeping with his men, and he knows that he will be beaten to death by them at the first night. However, Carmen Mori worked as a carpo at Ravensbrook, and she was involved in overseeing the conditions and work which went on inside of her block. She oversaw the forced labour and was described as a real beast, and she showed how much of a psychopath that she really could be. She was seen by witnesses abusing and beating women who were inside of the infirmary. Many of these prisoners were classed as mentally ill, and in one incident it was said a number of prisoners were naked and some wore short day shirts. They had a camp number written in a chemical pencil on their chests. Some of them dragged themselves off the floor and huddled together in the centre of a room. The windowless room was only a few square metres big. The terrified Polish women were spotted by Maury, who took out a syringe out of her pocket and said, I don't advise you to be so sensitive, it calms you down forever my love. She then laughed and said, now I'll show you something else. Before you see, I have to explain to you that all the dung worms are dying. She would taunt the prisoners with injections which could kill, and then went to show off a bathroom filled with naked women's bodies lying on the floor, that she bragged she was responsible for. Carmen Mori was also known for beating prisoners with a belt and a rubber hose very badly, and would use this to drive prisoners to do more work. She was also known for pouring cold water over them in freezing conditions, which could bring on hypothermia and kill. Rather disturbingly, she was overheard saying about the conditions in her barrack, I do not give them anything to eat. Sometimes I throw them a slice of bread. What happens then? You have to see it. But I have the most fun when I see them eating their own feces. Maury had become one of those barbaric concentration camp members of staff, and she was very proud of it. But let's remember that she was an ardent Nazi and was attracted to the Nazi way of life, so she probably felt that as she was working for the Gestapo before, she deserved to be involved in the brutal and barbaric nature of the concentration camps. She was known for being a monster and was described as sadomasochistic, psychopathic, sexually voracious and one of the camp's most notorious carpos. At the end of the Second World War she was released from Ravensbrück, but many of her other prisoners identified her as a beastly member of staff and she was arrested and placed on trial. She was brought to trial and the media heard of her crimes and she was regarded as a third-rate Matahari and as a Belladonna, and for her crimes she would be sentenced to death. But before her execution, Carmen Mori decided to escape the hangman's noose by taking her own life on the 9th of April 1947. The other defendant sentenced to death alongside her would be executed less than a month later. The crimes of Carmen Mori show us that even prisoners who were given some power inside of the concentration camps could join in and instigate a reign of terror and hate over others. It was clear that she was attracted to the politics of the Nazi party, and that she was a Nazi who happened to find herself a prisoner at Ravensbrück for the fact she had been captured as a spy. Today many of Carmen Mori's crimes remain untold. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.